Congratulations with your new Futura lowering trailer. Connect the trailers to the tow vehicle. Ensure the coupling height is between 14 and 16 inches in the United States and Canada, or 40 to 45 centimeters in Australia and New Zealand. You can easily move the trailer around by hand to attach it to the tow vehicle. Crank the jockey wheel jack completely until the wheel locks. Tighten the crank handle to the fully locked position to prevent the wheel from lowering. Securely connect the safety chain or cables and the breakaway lanyard to the tow vehicle. Ensure the cables or chains are crossed. Turn on the master switch and ensure your voltage is above 12 volts. Release the safety latches. Ensure the license plate is in the up position and locked with the locking pin. Turn on the wireless remote by holding the up and down button simultaneously until the red light illuminates. Lower the trailer at a safe distance with the wireless remote or manual switch on the winch box. Attention! Stay clear and never touch any moving parts when in operation. If you forget to unlock the safety latches before lowering, do not attempt to unlock them. They will be under load. Instead, raise the trailer again and release the safety latches. Roll, winch, or drive the vehicle on the trailer. Load the vehicle as far forward as possible to maintain trailer stability and avoid trailer sway. Check that loaded hitch load is 10% of the total load weight. Most vehicles can be positioned forward facing, including rear engine cars, for example, Porsche. Raise the trailer with the up button on the remote. The winch will stop automatically when the trailer is raised to the traveling position. If the winch has stopped and all the safety latches do not engage, move the trailer and lift again as the trailer might be on uneven ground. Now you're able to open your door and get out of the car. It is important to check that all the lifting arms have landed on the mount plates and to engage the safety latches. If your car door clearance sits low, you can remove a fender by unhooking the LED light from beneath the trailer and pressing the quick release buttons on either side of the fender to remove. This will allow for added door clearance and reduce the risk of damage to your vehicle. Lowering the trailer. Lower the trailer with the down button on the remote. Before unloading a vehicle, ensure the trailer is down and the cables are relaxed. If the load is still on the lifting ropes, then the trailer deck may bounce up as the vehicle rolls off it and catch the underside of very low vehicles. Be sure to check the wheel lug nut torque to 95 foot-pounds at 10, 25, and 100 miles in the United States and Canada, or 15, 50, and 100 kilometers in New Zealand and Australia. Positioning the recovery winch on the airline track. All sport range model recovery winches are equipped with clips that securely fasten into the airline track around the rim of the trailer. Feed the battery cable through the trailer's openings and plug it in behind the winch box. For more instructional videos and owner resources, visit the My Futura page on our website, futurotrailers.com forward slash myfutura. If you need any more information at any time, contact us through our website, futurotrailers.com forward slash contact.